Hello guys, how are you doing? <coughs> Hello once again. I think you have problem with the microphone. I cannot hear you. I can hear Maria. You're still connecting. Um, Hello, yes. how are you? Hello. Hi. Hello, Arnav. How are you? Good hi, hi. I'm fine. How are you? So far, so good. Still alive. I was traveling, so I couldn't join the past two meetings. Uh, that is true. That's okay. That's okay. <coughs> yeah, everybody now is uh, is uh, ready. Guys, are you fine? Hello. Hello, everyone. Can you hear Hello. Me? Hello, Mr. Mohammed. Of course, I can. Uh, hello. Thank yeah, you welcome you aboard. Yeah. My pleasure. Thanks Good a lot to see you. Yeah, thanks a lot for this what, uh, what, nice was, opportunity. My pleasure. Yeah. Was that you who were yeah. brainstorming? I mean, the whole stuff. Really amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love Just that. Thank you so much. Okay. Just preparing for the meeting. <laughs> that is Let that is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Really, I mean, I mean, you are doing something purposefully. This is what it yes. really matters. Yeah, and Mr. Mehta, how are you? Good, how are you, teacher? Yeah, yeah. Are you good? Are you fine? Yeah, so I did class last, I didn't attend last two classes. I was slightly busy. Yeah, that's okay, man. That's okay. The, the point is, uh, you are available right now. This is very important. Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Okay, without losing any time, guys, let's just uh, dive into the question, if I can find it. Yes, I found it. Uh, okay, let me share the question prompt once again. And let's just start the conversation. Right? Okay, in modern societies, more and more people choose to live on their own. What are... Uh, what are the reasons? Uh, yeah, sorry for that. What are the reasons people choose to do this? Is it a positive or negative trend? So we say, normally we say ladies first, maybe Ms. Maria uh, can start talking about it and then maybe we can come in, jump in. Okay. Um, I can comment on this topic referring it to my country, of course, Italy. And actually, the fact that many people choose to live alone could be true until the 90s. Uh, I'm referring it to young people who decided to be self-reliant. Since then, indeed, the trend has changed a bit. Uh, young people tend to stay at their parents' home until they settle down, mm -hmm. mainly for economic reasons. Uh, I mean, they don't have a job, mm -hmm. house uh, rentals are expensive, and ultimately staying with their parents is not so bad because they are more permissive now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, however, the phenomenon still exists. Um, so. Yeah, it's true. And it is very popular, you mean? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, quite popular. <laughs> quite popular. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, quite popular. Um, nice. so young people decide to live alone, both to work and to study, or work to pay for their studies mm -hmm. and go away from home. Um, they move uh, especially to northern Italy, where there is more chance of finding work, or they um, go abroad to study at uni and have a better future. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think that need for freedom and financial security uh, cause people to prefer living on their own 
to living with their family. Mm -hmm. Yes, it makes sense. Thank you very much for this statement. And uh, maybe, uh, okay, Mr. Mehta can try to talk about this. I mean, firstly, we are just opening the topic and then slowly but surely we will uh, talk more about it. What about in India? <coughs> uh, we believe, uh, I believe uh, different people prefer to live on their own due to their own different reasons. And these reasons depend on their age. Like in the younger age, sometimes uh, students uh, prefer to live on their own because they, are, they think that if they will live with their family, obviously with family several responsibility comes with the, uh, with the family. And on that time, they all, always prefer to uh, focus on their studies. So in students, there is one reason that's why they prefer to live on their own. And also some types of independence, you can say the most of the time people start working with their advanced studies. So if they think, okay, if, if they can manage their own expenses, then they should focus on their goal first. Is one reason. Mm -hmm. And in other age groups, like sometimes, uh, even if you, will, if you see uh, this trend was so much earlier in European countries, but now these are increasing in developing countries as well, that sometimes uh, husband and wife start living on their own mm -hmm. due, to own, due to the thought processes. And not uh, and sometimes for the betterment of the relationship they find okay sometimes space helps them to understand the problems and getting them resolved so mm -hmm. every age group have their has their own reasons to living on their own mm -hmm. interesting point thank you very much and mr mohammed do you want to just open this topic a bit yes of course uh, i can go in the same direction uh, of thought as uh, my friend uh, Mehta when he talked about the, the, that there are many reasons that uh, push uh, uh, people nowadays to live on their own. Of course, if we uh, compare it with the past, we will find that people in the past uh, were used to live uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, the communities and uh, that spirit of, of the group was there. But now we, we notice that people uh, like to live alone, and of course, this is due. This is due to many reasons. For example, if we talk about one central uh, reason, which is to develop maturity, because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, people uh, like to uh, rely on themselves, like to develop the skill and uh, this competence of independence. So they are independent, and uh, they become more responsible and resilient. Mm -hmm, uh, and mm -hmm. we know that flexibility is one of the main, of the most uh, sought uh, after uh, skill in the world of business and and uh, and communication. This yeah. uh, ability to adapt to new situations. And when we live in communities, it's so difficult to uh, ad to develop the develop this this uh, kind of, of skill. Well, of course, uh, we have other reasons, and uh, here I'm speaking uh, positively, of course because the, this uh, topic also bears negative sides. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, when I was, I was searching for this topic, I noticed that we gain more uh, by living uh, on, our own, uh, away, uh, in, on our own than yeah. living with the others. But mm -hmm. this is just my opinion. Perhaps you can disagree with me. Mm -hmm. But I see that there are many, many uh, bright sides in this, in this, in this, uh, in this topic. For example, uh, people can have the, this opportunity to develop uh, budgeting skills and saving habits. So they have this uh, chance to be better plan their, their life. Mm -hmm. And uh, as, as a teacher, for example, uh, I have noticed that in Morocco, we have, we have uh, students that come from boarding schools. And when we compare in the way they, compare the way they talk, and the way they express themselves, we find that they are more, more confident and more responsible than those who live with the, their parents. Mm -hmm. and this is very interesting, mm -hmm. which means that being uh, or letting or giving this chance to people to live on their own will, will likely help them to gain a lot of things, such as developing a very strong personality. Mm -hmm. And of course, as they say, the best paths are 
always the untried and the new ones. Exactly. The best paths are, are, are untried and new. This is, this is a good opportunity to discover new lands of experience and to see life from uh, other perspectives. And of course, uh, lastly, there is an awareness of freedom uh, to these people who decide to live on their own mm -hmm. because they have reached a certain level of, uh, of consciousness and awareness that will give them the chance to, to say, well, I'm free and I have th this freedom to live on my own and I can, uh, I can uh, choose my, my own way and, uh, and, uh, and uh, pursue my own uh, uh, drive. Mm -hmm. Finally, mm -hmm. of course, this is also a question of mentality because yeah. if someone chooses to live on his own uh, by mentality and by option and uh, and he chooses to be uh, uh, to live on his own, his own then we have just to to respect his his, uh, his point of view yes yeah, yes yeah. that's true thank you, thank you for yeah. this lovely statement very good yeah. of course we're going to ask i mean talk about this topic um, in 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 depth but let's uh, see what uh, mr arnab has got to say about this very topic. Yeah, so uh, all of the points have been covered by the both of the previous speakers. So I, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, right now, uh, yeah, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> no problem. You can talk. You can you can share your own experiences, your own yeah, so, feelings about so this. Student, I can um, talk about my experience. That obviously, uh, when I was in college, I was in a boarding school. Sort of not. I was in a hostel. I was living in a hostel. So. That actually helped me to learn about finances, uh, how to manage my own money, how to be on my own, how to be responsible, uh, how to cook food. So this is very uh, life skills which are which will uh, help you in the long run, right? So yes. these are uh, so these skills I've learned. But right now, as I'm working, I have lived in a separate in another city where I was living alone, and I was almost burning out all of my salary because the expenses were so high. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got and uh, and uh, right now, because of the COVID situation, I came back to my home. I'm living with my parents. And uh, yeah, I can save almost 50% of my salary for, for that. Mm -hmm. So I think it is a really, it's a, it depends on you and your situation that if you, what's your uh, goal and what's your, what do you want to focus on? Mm -hmm. Right now, I want to focus on uh, building my own portfolio and saving more money. So that's why I'm staying in, with my parents. <laughs> and yeah, I'm definitely uh, thinking of uh, again going to another city and living. Mm -hmm. You're thinking of moving out. Okay. Yeah. yeah smart move. Uh, thank you very much. So let's say hello to Ms. Rose as well as Mr. Roy. Good to see you here, guys. Uh, of course, you're a little thank bit. Thank you, teacher. A little bit late, but then you say, oh, my God, the meeting has finished. Yes, because you lost it. It was almost 15 minutes. Very good. Okay. Yes, but... I, I forgot about this meeting tonight. <coughs> uh, but but I, I was taking preparation. Even I am awake just because of your meeting. Really? And so I think that yes. the only person who doesn't just prepare for is me. <laughs> so I'm just going to just <laughs> listen. Really. Um, but... Of course, we are just trying to learn from one another, which is really amazing. And uh, yeah, teacher, That's very true. good. And what about Ms. Rose? Can you hear me? Last time you had problems with internet. Yes, I can hear you. Hello, good to see you here again. <coughs> so, Hello, how are you? So far, so good. It's still alive. <laughs> uh, so, uh, can you can you very briefly um, just um, point out your own view on this uh, very topic? Very briefly, what do you think of that? And uh, because everybody talked, then we are going to just dive into that. Please go ahead, Ms. Rose. Okay, uh, this plan, as you know, has been rampant in many countries especially Western countries, I think. It's mm -hmm. uh, uh, rarely found in, maybe more, I don't know, uh, mm -hmm. in Asian countries. Uh, and it has uh, many different uh, reasons behind it for those who believe them and, I don't know, live mm -hmm. by their own. Uh, yes. Okay, do you see any positivity or let's say negativity in this? 
Is it positive uh, or good? I, I for one believe that uh, although there may be some merits mm -hmm. uh, for living alone, but I think uh, it the merits outweigh uh, advantages. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you mean that the, you mean that the negative side of this very fact outweighs the positivity of that? Yes. All right. Okay. Of course, your your voice is breaking sometimes. That's not. That's why I I cannot really understand what you are really saying. But yeah, um, I got you. Thank you very much. Let's see what Mr. Roy has got to say about this very fact very topic uh okay but it was so important i mean it would be so important if i uh got i mean it, if i got a chance to talk uh, listen to you guys because you already you were here senior citizens and even more experienced than me and mm -hmm. i just want to say like it is it is going on basically among uh, new generation even in modern age uh, yeah. a lot of people they like to live in a very you know uh, it's kind of trend that they want to live like single family and they just uh, going to be like, basically it's happening here in city, you know, uh, cities, cities and towns. Mm -hmm. But if we look back towards the villages, then it will be like, still a lot of families, they have their good bonding and they have a good, good tie with their family members. Yeah. Even some of them just living together. But the young generation, they are just getting separated and it, it's going to be like a trend, but there must be a lot of uh, negativities uh, yeah. about this or of this thing, because it's it's as well as it's good for our personal stuff. Like if I if I'm not engaged in some of the other activities and stuff with my other family members, then it will be so good for me. And it is obviously congenial to some to do some other stuff. Like and now I got back to uh, from my office, like after doing a job or whatever. But now I have nothing so much to do. But mm -hmm. if I am with a lot of family members, even with some of them, then obviously I had a lot of responsibilities to do something, to take care of them, and even uh, to point out some other steps, people taking mm -hmm. rest or even to be concentrated yeah. to some of my other steps related mm -hmm. to my life. So I will say that it is, it is good. It is not so bad because... Uh, Basically, nowadays, we are focusing on our career, even we are trying to establish something good in our life that our, our possibilities that we have, and we are trying to apply it in our day to day life and our workshop. Mm -hmm. So I would say it is obviously great, but, uh, but at a time like when our, we are talk, if we talk about our uh, parents, basically, so uh, there is an old, old home that we say, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, that's uh, true. We, yeah, mm -hmm. and our our family member, we are getting separated, and we are doing and leading our lives so happily. But the problem about our fa our fa fathers, basically, and mothers, our parents, and mm -hmm. they're they're just they cannot cope with us, basically, mm -hmm. in our modern life. And even we are just keeping them in the old homes, Maybe. and we are just we are just keeping them ourselves, you know, away our from ourselves. So it is it's happening, and a lot of negativities you will have. It, it has, mm -hmm. but I would say that it's also, though it has some, uh, not some, a lot of negativities though, but I would say it is good and it's trendy because uh, people are getting useful and handy to live like this. I very. mean, this kind of life. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, uh, of course, everybody's uh, statement makes sense somehow, but let's just uh, go deeper, guys. I mean, firstly, um, what causes such mentality uh, for, um, for young generation or maybe for, for young people? Why they really want to be, um, how can I say, independent or they try to just move out and live independently? Uh, what are the reasons? Yes, Mr. Arnab. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in India specifically, uh... Uh, we are not given many much freedom in our life if we live in our parents' house. So that's one of the more most that's one of the most important reason why I wanted to move out okay. and live an independent life. And apart from that, I think uh, the how to basically manage yourself, how to be 
uh, independent how to manage your own money how to uh, talk to some other people and these are the uh, things we are not taught in our schools or uh, in our university so that's one of another reason why i wanted to move out and also the third reason is i wanted to have girlfriend and all so that's separate thing mm mm-hmm. that's true so, which makes uh, these are most of my my reasons why i didn't why, why i wanted to move out of course yes okay yes mr mohammed please uh, i totally agree with uh, arnab and uh, also with roy when he they talked about this uh, this chance to 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 have independence especially because we live with family you don't have the time to to develop yourself uh, and uh, sometimes we just we need uh, uh, to be uh, alone and to 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 f- focus and uh, and uh, concentrate and when we are with the family you know noise uh, they are speaking we cannot concentrate on our work we know we are young and we have projects in our heads we have ideas we need to concentrate sometimes you have problems and we need to find solutions to so we need to concentrate and when you are alone then you have this chance it's a good thing mm-hmm. but sometimes uh, we also we also choose to live on our own uh, to avoid problems especially avoid for problems. example yeah to avoid problems for example i'm speaking about all the contexts and especially in morocco for example when when a young get married and he lives with his parents he will he will have great problems mm-hmm. with his family because he can't he can't decide alone and his family uh, i mean his parents will uh, interfere with him but, but but they will interfere <coughs> in their favor they, they will try to 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 influence the, their 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 son's decisions and their points points of view yeah. and this is a problem you know the young is a, in a very difficult situation in the same time he he tries to to please his, to please his parents because his parents they educated him and he should treat them in a good way and they mm-hmm. must serve them and mm-hmm. by the way being with them and living with them this is a great opportunity for people who have patience and they can serve their, their, their parents and gain paradise this is a good opportunity <laughs> but in the same time sometimes problems they creep to the surface especially when for example your mother comes and say your wife has done this and this and this and this yeah yeah <laughs> you, and you say you say if I, i was alone i would not have this problem so i mm. need to get to live on my own exactly <laughs> so uh, to just to encapsulate my point of view mm-hmm. sometimes uh, and uh, and by the way uh, in my point of view i prefer to live on my own mm-hmm. because avoiding problems <laughs> is better than being in the realm of 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 you know, or in a situation or in a space where daily in uh, on a daily basis you will have to confront with these problems and try to find solutions That's because true. you have you have other you have another time that you need to seize and work on your studies your your mm-hmm. life your projects your work etc exactly. that's it <laughs> amazing that is true yeah. of course i mean uh how can i say i don't want to say fighting but quarreling maybe uh is is waste of time rather than just focusing with like a um, peaceful mind on your projects on your future you are instead you are quarreling with your parents you are trying to uh how convince them or i don't know try, i mean any kind of discussion so yeah i i, I see i try with you on that uh, this is to, uh, totally a kind of waste of time yeah yeah mm-hmm. the uh, best choice actually, yeah sorry please yes okay. yeah i mean the best choice smart move mm-hmm. so this actually reminds me of a story of uh, uncle i know so actually uh, he was living with his uh, wife and his mother in a house but they started fighting so he decided to quit everything and just live alone <laughs> yeah 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 yes <laughs> possible yeah. very good so who wants to just uh, add something yes mr mehta please go ahead uh, again i would say there are uh, different reasons for different age groups uh, i'll stick with the same statement mm-hmm. as you know after schooling it's always a desire to explore the new things yeah i or a girl comes out from his schooling completed schooling and goes to the college there's always desire to explore the new world in multiple ways in in terms of uh, fulfilling their dreams whether it's whether it's clothing whether it's learning whether it's uh, making new friends it's, it's it's a desire obviously that should be fulfilled because 
uh, you have getting five and at some point of time one should be given a freedom to explore so that they can fulfill their dreams <laughs> <laughs> and the second thing that the that is the second point that comes to post marriage or you can say mm-hmm. when uh, get married then obviously sometimes it becomes too difficult to manage both the worlds mm-hmm. like sometimes we face problem with the payment few people face problem with the payment so it's always better to manage think few things in a different way in the beginning Mm-hmm. If the things works out, obviously they are after they, 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 there's always a chance or there's always a possibility to make the things better and then come back to the family. Mm-hmm. So there, are, I think these are the few reasons. That's why these are few causes yeah, with, yeah. due to which things about uh, moving away and starting on their own, and then obviously there's always a there's always a option to come back. <laughs> come back, exactly. Of course, totally right. So you mean that all of these things, stories or realities are uh, something normal? You mean these are normal, right? You mean? Yeah, more or less are normal. But my point is that apart from that, these are the causes. But mm-hmm. everything has a consequences as well. That is true. Yeah, whatever yeah. we do. So, yeah. So if has you are talking about the <laughs> so if we are talking about the consequences, mm-hmm. obviously, if we are living alone. You are gaining something, but at the same time, you are losing some of the losing things some. like the family relationships. Um, yeah. At that point of time only, and uh, not completely. Mm-hmm. But for that moment, obviously, your parents are missing you, but still, you are living alone because you want to fulfill your dreams. Mm-hmm. Obviously, there are some pros and cons all the times, all the times. Exactly. And the same case applies to the family when uh, to the family when a person gets married, because if a guy, if a child gets married. Parents has several desires with the family, yeah. And due to some reasons or due to some problems, they are compromising on their desires. I'm talking from the parent side, yeah, because they are compelled to follow their children's choices because they are want to move on their own, yeah. So everything has causes as well as the consequences. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. As you said, you know, there's a Red. saying in English that, that, that they say that everything comes at a cost. Absolutely. So, of course, you said that if you, if you gain something at the same time, you are losing something else. Mm-hmm. So uh, you cannot just be 100%, how can I say, um, uh, very happy, happy of, of your, your total situation, your current situation. Yeah. Totally right. Totally right. Okay, what else, guys? It's mm-hmm. all depends on, on the priorities. And so in short, we can say. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Yes, Mr. Mohammed, please go ahead. Yeah, yes, I, I just want to add that uh, uh, living uh, on our own is not just a matter of choice because sometimes people are forced to live in such situations mm-hmm. because there are people who live in difficult situations and when we see them living on their own and they are uh, alone, we may uh, claim and pretend that, that it's a matter of choice. But mm-hmm. in fact, when we uh, talk to these persons, we'll find that they had many problems. For example, they had experienced fear and loss. Mm-hmm. For example, one of their uh, uh, parents and folks or someone relatives uh, has died and this has caused them to to, to see the world as gloomy and very dark. And then they started to, to say that it's no longer valid to live with people and we have to live on our own. And they live in such situations. So it, these, these persons, I, I, I think, uh, need help to get yeah. out of that situation because it's difficult because it's will, this will lead to other consequences and uh, other problems in, the, in, their, in their personal life. Mm-hmm. And of course, there are, there is another problem. They may get into a bad company, mm-hmm. and they, yeah, yeah, because because not all the the persons who choose to live on their own are educated and and conscious, yeah. and they yes. know what they are doing. If they know, that's a good point. That's a good thing. But if they don't know, who are going to meet in the street? Uh, they are going to meet, for example, bad people. Yeah. And they can show them bad, 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 bad paths mm-hmm. and bad ways to live, to live, how to live, and this can affect them negatively, and they can get in another world of, yeah. 
of sadness and they may they repent why they entered in such uh, such world so Absolutely. just to to summarize my point of view mm -hmm. i just want to say that it's not just a matter of choice but sometimes people are forced to live on their their own exactly yes yes amazing thank you very much um, okay uh, ms maria ms rose and mr roy you're so silent do you want to add something to this because again we have 10 minutes very very oh. fast yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I want to say something roy, 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 roy says that uh, may sam does something that uh, the time starts to <laughs> count down you know but i do nothing <laughs> go ahead yeah. okay thank you teacher and uh yeah, uh, my my honorable uh, participants here and my honorable teachers, they already said the correct things and the right points here. And these are literally so true and I couldn't agree anymore. And the, the thing that I wanna add here right now, it is, I think the first thing I want to uh, target, I mean, point out that is the advancement of technology. Yes, yes. It's supplying Let's us, Let's it's talk. supplying <laughs> us a lot of things, a yeah. lot of things in exchange of money. Mm -hmm. That's why we, the young generation, when we are getting a lot of things in exchange of money, not getting involved in some family problems or some other stuffs, but we are getting everything available here in front of us. Even some of them just, just leading their lives like in heaven. Mm -hmm. So we're just thinking, why not we? What about us? Why <laughs> we can't do it? So that's the main point that we are getting available things here in excess of money. That's why we're, we're just thinking that, yeah, we can also do it. And, and I will live with my only wife there and I will do a job and I will live my life happily with my wife. So that will be so like I'm living in a heaven. Like, but if I if I would live with my family members, then it will be like so, so you know, uh, very troublesome uh, yeah, yeah. environment sometimes so it happens and another thing is money that is actually with the young generation we are actually we are getting a lot of chances to get money even to earn money and we are doing a lot of you know fantastic jobs here rather than our senior citizens mm -hmm. that's why we are like we are being like with instead of thinking like we're superhuman and we are, <laughs> we have our money we have our you know mindset that yeah, we can do whatever we want, actually, in our life, in excess of money. So that's why we are doing whatever we think, but we are not actually thinking about our, the affection, the love of our mm -hmm. family members, even the parents. So mm -hmm. we think we think it, and we always wonder about it when we, we usually about to lose our parents. And mm -hmm. that time, or sometimes when we already lost, so after that, we think that, yeah, I really did a very, very bad job in my life that I didn't took care of my family members. I didn't took care of my parents. So uh, take care of my parents. So it was like, I was just thinking of my own interest, not about my family members, the origin mm -hmm. of myself. So mm -hmm. after that we thought, but I think it, it's just going on and we cannot stop it maybe because it's kind of a uh, mindset. It's, it's already framed in the young generation nowadays. That's and, true. It, and it is not actually here in my country. I think it's all over the world now. Yeah, it's going on globally. So, uh, globally. so it will be like, uh, oh, one point here I want to add here that is religion is a great fact now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's helping people to to get moralized, even mm -hmm. to think about our affection, our love, and our responsibilities here. <coughs> so it's religion, it's helping and teaching us actually to be back to what we need to do and to mm -hmm. utilize our conscience in our mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. So I think though a lot of young generations, they are doing even living separately, but obviously they are keeping contacts with their family members, of with course. their parents, but some of them, they're just, uh, just sending money or even not getting chance to visit their family members frequently, maybe not in a month or not in a year, but they are doing great job, obviously. They're, mm -hmm. they're just uh, thinking of their development, even of the young generation of sometimes of their own countries and the world. So it's, it's good, I will support, but I will request all the guys uh, that obviously we should, we have our responsibilities to take care of our parents, even look to back, to look back to mm -hmm. what actually, what was our origin. So yeah, that's my point of view. Thank you very awesome. much. Yes, it makes sense as well. Uh, yes, please go ahead, Mr. Mehta. I just want, I just want to add a few lines in Roy statement. <laughs> What uh, Roy said is, is, is very uh, is very authentic, I must say, because mm -hmm. he, these are his experiences. 
so i want to say as in few countries <laughs> uh, serving the army is a mandatory thing mm-hmm. i think after the, after schooling or after any particular point of time there should a, a person should stay for a few years or few months on their own, own. it gives them a experience mm-hmm. to handle the problems the real problems of the life how to manage finances because at the end of the day they have to bear the responsibilities so it's very important to understand and to learn how to how one should handle the responsibilities in terms of finances in terms of uh, handling yeah. the world mm-hmm. because because in, in in such a time when we meet back because obviously when a person goes out and and he or she making friends he might be making friends good people or bad people but it always add to their experiences whether it was good or bad mm-hmm. and that experience contributes a lot in the uh, it contributes a lot in their lives That's they learn true. how to handle things and they and this thing help them to get the experiences and transfer the experience to their kids mm-hmm. amazing i like that yeah. i like that yeah. Yeah. very good very good yes please mr mohammed Yeah, just I want to add a, a remark when talking about the advancement in technology. Uh, we notice that today, today's this is the era of technology, and people now use more and more technology. And by the way, we are just we are communicating through the social media. Uh, this uh, is pulling people to be alone, mm-hmm. and this is a very sensible, sensitive problem because mm-hmm. these people we 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 they, they 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 like to be on their own, and they are. All, always and all the time uh, on their phones and they are little sociable they don't yeah. participate with the family in their activities they don't talk a lot and this brings another problem of this uh, this uh, this uh, this loneliness and mm-hmm. being alone not being with the others <laughs> and uh, we may think that being uh, alone this will uh, help them when they are on, on social media will help them to develop their their independence but in fact uh, these 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 persons who who spend a, a, a great deal of time uh, searching and and navigating uh, most of the time they are on facebook yeah. we, we will notice that these people lack this 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 skill of of independence mm-hmm. uh, when uh, i'm afraid that when when we will put them in in real life situations I really wonder how they will be deal, how, deal how, how they will they will act and and solve problems. So this is a very apparent problem now because they live alone. Mm-hmm. Uh, in if if they are with their parents, they live alone, and this will really uh, harm them. And they will miss this opportunity, as we have said, to develop this maturity, independence, and uh, resilience. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What about Ms. Rose? I mean, she's so silent. Everybody wants to say something, which is really amazing. But yeah, okay, Ms. Rose, do you want to just um, wrap it up? We have almost one minute left. Sure. Please go ahead. Um, <laughs> sure. Yes. Uh, although I think, although uh, living separately is an uneasy thing to deal with. For everyone, mm-hmm. uh, there are so many other reasons that can tempt everyone mm-hmm. to decide to live alone. Such as, uh, whenever you've got a veil of time for yourself, uh, whenever you're not in control anymore, there is no more rule rule to uh, comply with. I don't mm-hmm. know. You have time for yourself. Uh, privacy, the most important of all. Mm-hmm. Uh, These are among us uh, the advantages that some people decide to uh, live by themselves. Nice. Very, very good. And I very. think every uh-huh. one of us has mm-hmm. the right to lead a lifestyle of, lifestyle of their own, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. provided that our preference do not uh, hurt ourselves, maybe others. Yeah. And it's yeah. our choice to what to opt to. Uh, as a uh, life method, I think, for mm-hmm. ourselves. Mm-hmm. 